And right now at 5.30, an accused Rolex robber facing a judge in Miami after being arrested. Police say that victim met the suspect at the W Hotel on Miami Beach, and they later ended up at his condo in Bell Harbor. But when the victim woke up, his new friend was gone, and so was nearly half a million dollars in expensive watches and cash. Local 10's Alex Finney is live with more. Alex. Well, Nicole and Christy, unfortunately, we have reported on stories very similar to this one that we're seeing here tonight. Now, the suspect in this entire incident, apparently she uh, was not only caught on Instagram, a video that she allegedly posted herself wearing this jewelry, but there were surveillance cameras in her co the condominium of the gentleman uh, that apparently caught her walking to and from his room. Instagram was a major clue that led to the arrest of a woman who allegedly stole nearly half a million dollars worth of jewelry from a man visiting from New York. Andrea Banks, formerly known as Decorian Dwayne Greer, was arrested Friday morning and charged with burglary and grand theft. According to the A Forum, Banks met with the victim, Eric Todd, at the W Hotel South Beach on December 28th. The two decided to take the party back to the Bellini condominiums in Bell Harbor for some adult entertainment. Well, hours later, the victim woke up in his apartment feeling drugged and noticed that a lot of things were missing. A diamond pendant, a diamond necklace, a Sky Dweller Rolex watch, as well as a 120 karat diamond necklace, above a Watson watch, and $3,000 in cash, his New York driver's license and debit card, all gone. Banks was arrested in Aventura this morning, and when she answered the door, she was still wearing the custom-made S pendant around her neck. It was this Instagram video and surveillance footage from the condo that helped police link her to the crime. Well, such a bizarre story, right? So we tried to uh, reach out to the Bellini condominium. We actually were able to get someone. They said at this time they really have no comment. As for the victim <clears throat> in this case, we have not been able to get in touch with him. But the uh, Bellini, who you heard from there, uh, apparently she is being held in jail tonight. And, of course, there's more to come on this. We're live in Bell Harbor, Alex Finney, Local 10 News.